Well, hey, let's start all of that over again. That never happened. Um, hi, guys. This is Jennifer. Well, this is Jen with glasses, and I am streaming Space Quest 1. I'm all discombobulated tonight. So uh, I'm playing Space Quest 1 in DOSBox, which is a DOS emulator. And here's the deal, guys. Uh, there's special keys to get your mouse out of this little box. And you know what I did? I pressed the wrong keys, and so it shut down the DOS box. <laughs> so I'm going to try this just again. Yep, yep, there we go. I have the correct one now. I needed to move some screens around because some things were happening. And, uh, oops, I didn't want to do that either. Man, I am hitting a bunch of stuff tonight. So we're off the ship, just to recap. We are on the planet, and there's a couple of things that I want to do. One of the things is I realized last time, I didn't really check Ooh. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit, guys. The detail doesn't need down, but the detail can actually go up. That's fine. The volume needs to go down. Man, that is a loud noise in there. All right, so... Also, look, it shows my score. 31 out of 201. 39 out of 201. Can I speak tonight? No. All right, one of the things I wanted to do was look in the survival survival pack, which I did not do last time, the survival kit. Can I open it up? When opening, upon opening the survival kit, you find, discover a Xenon army knife and a canister of dehydrated water. Is that even remotely helpful, the canister of dehydrated, dehydrated water? I, this is probably helpful. Alright. I pretty much gathered everything I can from this screen. I need to go on to the next screen. Here we go. Here we go. Go on in. Come on, Roger. Oh, it's a scary worm. Man, that sound is just really loud. Alright, I'm going to still turn that down. Just because I just don't need the background noise here. Alright, so let's go over here. We're going to go this way. And I want to see if I can quickly, there's basically a, what I can only call a basically robot spider that comes out and tries to kill me in just a minute. So I want to see, there's like a little plaque over here I want to see before that happens. And last time it said it told me I wasn't close enough because as all things, things quest, well all things quest in Sierra games, you're never close enough to touch anything or look at anything. I constantly want to say... Oh no, no, I wanted to read that. Okay. Saren Spider Droid. Here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, I can't get any closer. All right, come on. Don't walk so close. Or so close. Don't walk so slow, Graham. Come on, keep moving. Oh, it got briefly confused. Nice. Let's keep going. Because, um... I'm pretty sure he's just going to keep following me. Yep, he's going to keep following me. My plan is... Hi, DS6. Thank you. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing here. I shouldn't be looking at chat right now. Oh, I blew up. I'm going to hit it from the other side now that I know I can't read that sign until I do something specific. How fun. Alright, I'm going to restore from back here. Hi to you, DS6. Hey, is the sound sounding okay tonight? It sounds a little weird to my ears, but it might just be me. All right, I'm going to go down this way, guys, because I think I can lead the spider. There's like a s snake that comes up to try and eat me when I go too far left. Like that one! And I want to try and see if I can kill the metal spider by having it attack the uh, other worm instead of me. All right, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Did I even do this last time? Okay, thanks, DS. Oh, I didn't even do this last time, guys. Okay. It's kind of cool to see the whole thing laid out there. There's stuff over there I need to look at, though. I, I'm i going a totally different way than last time. I'm very confused. Okay, I think this is where the guy... Yeah, this is where the worm eats me. Okay, so that's that's consistent. I'm going to go... 
Oh, I restored the wrong one. At least technically it is the right one. Alright. DSX, robot spider versus alien worm. I don't know who wins. I don't know either. Hopefully, Roger wins. That would be nice. Alright, so I... Okay, so I reloaded my other game. I have the sticky stuff. A survival kit. Which I need to look into or open up at least. Upon opening the survival kit, you discover a xenon army knife and a canister of dehydrated water. Just add water and you have water. Isn't that great? So that gives me more stuff. And now I have an empty box, too. Alright. Somewhere along the line. There's like a cave in here, too, guys. But it says too small for me to go in. Alright, where's... Here we go. I want you to follow me this way, dude. Let's we'll see if this works. The spider droid. After the jarring impact, small panels open through which legs sprout. You can recall reading in an old issue of Space Pista magazine that this droid was designed to seek out organic life forms and self-destruct when close proximity to the target has been achieved. Okay, this is why I'm hoping I can lead him over here. Oh, oh man. Keep walking. Oh. Whoa, those big guys pack a powerful appetite. Did you feel the way that thing just chomped right through your skeletal system that had to hurt? The growl burps in solitary satisfaction. Okay, so that's not work how, how I had hoped. Just look what I have right here since I have a second before the thing comes out. Okay, thank you. All right, so... <gasps> oh, no! Oh, okay. I literally went to move the mic because Dia said it was popping, and uh, it fell off and hit the ground. So hopefully you can hear it now. So, you know, what the cure is for popping is to drop your mic um, and unplug it because that works. Is the mic back on? <laughs> DS6 says, oops. Yeah, really, a big oops. Is it back to normal now, DS, or is it still popping? You are back. Okay, good. Sorry, guys. This has been a night of mishaps of various kinds. All right, let me open this up again. All right, so I have... Oh, what's this? This is dehydrated water. The can label says Pelavitron dehydrated water. All you add is air. Oh, makes 10 gallons. Caution. Do not attempt to open or rupture container. Misuse could result in personal injury or flash flooding. It's a Xenon army knife. That's not going to help me. This stuff is super sticky. It is simply a piece of sticky, stinking, rotting plant. It's definitely... This is the... I don't even know what this thing is. We got this earlier. This is some sort of gadget. You're not sure what it does exactly, but it has a switch. Oh, let me try and touch the switch and see what that does. Let me switch the gadget on. You switch the gadget off to conserve its energy. I don't even know what it did. It didn't do anything. Thank you, DS. DS always has my back with this stuff. Okay. Here we go. So, there is... This is what happens when you mess with your stuff. There's a cave up here too. I had problems where I felt like my audio was too low, so I started to mess with things, but I think I've overcorrected. Upon a very narrow width of Coronian soil, able to resist erosion through the eons, rest a skeletal remains of a mammoth has been. The cave is very small and empty, not unlike your gray matter. Was there something in the cave? Okay, no visible means of entry. Okay, here we go. So, so I mean that not that worm, but a different worm. I need to kill this guy because he's a problem. Here's the spider droid. Okay. Ah, okay. What if I turn this thing on? Does it help? Nope, does nothing. It does give you time to use stuff. Okay. Uh, he goes so slow, he's gonna blow up. 
I should have gone down. Oh, there's so much more stuff over here too. Like, what's this thing? All right, I have to restore and try again. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna try to get over here and see what this stuff is, because this game is. They give you a very low margin of error. No margin, basically none. All right, that's kind of cool too, but I want to see, what was this stuff over here? No, it's not letting me walk over there. I just want to see this here before the spider thing comes, because it's important. Okay, what is this? It must be a snap, spinal protrusion just sitting there without as yet having succumbed to the nearly irresistible attraction of gravity. So can I, I bet, that if you could reach it from here, you would pull that sucker down on your very own head. Oh, well, okay, that's interesting to me. That's really interesting to me, because it's sitting there for a reason. I feel like this is basically gonna become a very complicated game of mousetrap. Uh. All right, well, let's go this way. I'm gonna go up and see if I can. He's fast, too. Yeah, I know, Space Piston Magazine, ah. And grit and oh well, that didn't work well. Okay, I'm hearing pops in my end, but I think it's I think it's actually the game. I don't know what I mess with in my OBS that it is doing this. It's not really letting me control the volume. Okay. We're just going to play 41 out of 201, so that's nice. Okay, I want to go this way. I want to see if I can climb up on that thing or do something where I can drop that on his head. Or Okay, I'm going to go up. Okay. Just, okay, so this thing is here. How do I get, I need to get up here <laughs> is the problem. He's a slow walker. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's kind of nice. Let's go over this way. If I could just lure it to come out when it's... I want it to be... Oh, no, I'm trapped now. So I basically would have to climb up and go all the way up there. Well, I don't think that's possible. How convenient. You've been blown into handy bite-sized chunks. I guess that Space Piston article wasn't fiction. Alright, I'm gonna back up. No, I guess, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I have everything I need to fight this guy yet or not. I'm gonna back up and go back to where the, uh, this thing is. Our space pod! I'm gonna try going in a different direction and see what happens, because that really shocked me, because I thought I'd headed in every direction, but I hadn't, obviously. <laughs> Your sense of the ridiculous keeps you from walking off the edge and falling to a certain death from the, on the treacherous rocks below. Well, he's already smarter than Graham, because Graham, whoo, that was close. Graham regularly just, like, walked off. All right, so this way's certain death. This way's the other thing. Let's, we're going to go this way. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's doing a very slow spacewalk. Very, very slow. Hello, space worm. Okay, so this is where I've already been. So there's nothing new over here. I might as well just load up where I was at. Restore. Restore. I was hoping there's something to be something a little more interesting. Okay, I'm going to uh, play. I'm going to look at my survival kit really quick or open it up. I don't know if I'm going to need that xenon knife or not. And then I'm going to save it. Just I'm going to save it over the old one. Just so I have that already done so I don't have to keep doing that. Alright, let's check out down here and see how far we can get before the evil you know, space spider gets here. Okay, 
Okay, so this is cool. Can we go down this way? Oh, it's just gonna kill us. That is a mammothly big skeleton, though. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting eaten. Hmm. If it's the same one, our problem solved. If we can uh, get the spider droid to destroy him. But I think there's a lot of them out here. There's a lot of the sticky stuff, too. The sticky plant. I have some, but I don't know. Oddly enough, a plant grows in isolated spots in its inhospitable environment. I already got some, so I think that that's... Can we go this way? Let's go to his ginormous... Oh, no. Well, how nice. Let's go over this way. Yep, it's a spider droid again, guys. It's a spider, spider, spider droid. Not fun. Okay. Alright. Okay, come here. Spider droid! Oh, I can get up here. Let's try it this way. Come here. Come on up. Here we go. Oh gosh, she's so much... Oh. Dudes, spider droid can't come up here. That's cool. I'm going to save it, because I realize that victory and defeat are the same thing in this game a lot of the time. Alright. Space Quest 16, not King's Quest as I keep trying to call it, because I have played King's Quest so much that that's my automatic quest thing. Alright, here we go. That's pretty cool. So is he just he's walking around looking for biologicals. I really hope he finds one of those worms. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be a space condor. You know it's going to be a space condor DS6, right? Alright, because I'm going to have to time this. Right, I'm going to save this here. I'm just going to save over this. You know this is going to be a space condor. not known that you are a master of protrusion toss. That was a fine effort. Um, I'm really excited. I'm taking a victory drink of my water right now. Woo! -hoo! Yay! Okay, I need to save this. We killed the spider droid! Okay. How super dangerous is this thing right here? Yep. I'd say that the widening of these cracks is an excellent indication that this thing is not a truly stable unit. And don't you hate the way it makes your brain bounce all around like a handball in that spare cranial space? Why, thank you, game. What an intelligent insult. Too bad he's too dumb to hear it. DS6 is nicely defeated. Thank you. I really thought I was going to have to lure him towards a space worm, so I'm very excited I don't have to do that. Oh. I want to, I get to see what the sign says too, which is also fun. I'm going to save it again, but under, I guess I'm saving a new one, but this game has me really twitchy because I know like all the safeties are off. It's not like the remakes were, they, they, the first King's Quest asks you if you want to let yourself get permanently stuck. And I'm always like, please no. Um, the second one doesn't ask you. It just gives you opportunities to always go back and get things, but actual original Sierra games do not do that. You get stuck. I could get stuck later close to the end from something I don't do now. Or something I do in her. Oh, what's that? What happened? What just happened, guys? Uh... What? Um... So I hope I really got everything I needed. Hey, what's the deal here? That elevator doesn't lower. It sucks. Oh. Okay, so I didn't even get to read the sign, guys. I'm going to go back up and read the sign. Thank you very much. Because, uh, I don't even know where I am. And I like to know where I am. I'm going to walk back over here. That was very shocking. <laughs> So I was thinking about like, oh, like how are we can get around these giant like blah blah blahs. Hi, zombie man. We just defeated this the spider droid, but now I have to be really careful. I'm trying to read a sign, and not uh, fall into an elevator. Okay, can 
Can I read it from here? Probably not. It looks interesting, although hard to tell from where you are standing. It may be a sign. If you get closer, maybe you could read it. Yeah, maybe you could get sucked down into that thing. How about here? If you can read this, you're standing too close. Uh, I don't like this, because I'm worried I'm going to need the sign later. Dang it! I mean, it's not killing me, but I want to know what that sign says, because I'm very nervous about this game. So, I mean, you missed all the te technical difficulties, too, so hopefully we got every all the bugs worked out. And I still don't know what that thing is, either. Which I think that might be okay, because I did try to check that out from both sides. Alright, I'm going to save it here now. No, I don't want my inventory. I want to save... Save, save, save. Look, 46 out of 201. That's pretty good. Save, save, save. Save, save, save. Okay. Go right here. Is it too close to see? Nope. I can't read it. It's just not going to let me read it. If I need to read it, I'll come back and read it. But right now, I need to deal with this mess, which is a mess. Hey, what's the deal here? That elevator isn't lower. It sucks. Okay. Going to save my game because I'm down in a creepy basement. And uh, it looks like some sort of lair. I don't know where I am. I'm going to replace that. All right. Let me just look around. It looks like your standard run of the mill mnemonic transport. This particular model only descends, however, and it's not a pleasant ride. No, it was not. The only way to go. What's this? Oh. <laughs> the being responsible, most likely your Coronian counterpart, tried to fool everyone else by using some sticky gunk to hold it together. Like that would actually fool anyone. The slag plant is obvious when broken loose previously and set back in place. Alright, so I want to go and actually take that if it's. if I can. Yep, I can. You flex those incredible muscles you wish you had, but you barely able to snap loose the previously fractured slag type. Should I take this stuff? You've already taken it. Okay, well that's all I need to do. Alright, and the only way I can go is left. Oh, let me just... I'm gonna... Real quick. In place. Alright, let's go. Here we go, guys. At least I think... Okay, well, uh, this doesn't look pleasant. What's this? Oh, that is... Nope, nope. I don't like that. What is that? The grate is made of metal and seems to be fastened securely on the floor. A strange tentacle beast lurks at the bottom of the pit. Alright, I want to talk. Can I talk to the beast? Can I talk to them? Can I smell them? It smells great. <laughs> Uh, can I taste anything? Nothing worth tasting here. Alright, so. Um. So, alright. Place with Space Quest 18. I want to see what it does when I walk over it. Probably murder me horrifically, but you know. Crunch, 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 crunch. You've been snatched out of existence by the tentacled beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. Oh. Don't stop now. We're having so much fun watching you. Oh. All right. So that's not a good idea. Um, is there anything in here I have to kill something like that? Not really. Okay, so is there any other way we can go through here? Let me see what else we can do up here. I think I'm going to have to do something to it, but I don't know what. I can't go right? I know it said the only way to go is left, but I don't know. I don't trust these guys. 
Nope, I guess I can only go left. Mm. Okay. So we have this yucky thing right here. It's like my worst nightmare. It's like a... Looks like a, a giant squid combined with a bunch of other stuff like a snail. I don't know. It's gross. Alright. Is there anything we can give it? Um... I don't know if the sticky stuff's gonna do. Oh, look at that. So that's nice. Does that mean I can walk by now? Okay, yes. Okay, I'm going to save this. Some man, you're, are you saying look at the rock? Are you giving me spoilers again? I mean, I can look at the rock. I did earlier. I, ha I got that sticky stuff. All right, hang on. Can I just do this? You're unable to open the door by hand. What does that mean? What kind of door is it? It's an odd closed door with no apparent mechanism for opening it. Oh, isn't that fun? Um, it doesn't seem to have any effect on the door. Zombie Man says no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Zombie Man. <laughs> DS6 says that wasn't a rock. That was an ice cream cone. It does look like an ice cream cone. Zombie Man, think, I'm glad, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I know you said you really like playing it. It is fun. Alright. I, I can use a magnet, I guess. Oh, do I have to stick that? Alright, hang on. Alright, hang on. Yay! Okay, well that's good. Places. Okay, here we go. That stuff looks gross. From tiny cracks in the ceiling, several small drops of liquid succumb to the influence of gravity. What does it smell like? Well, I should probably shouldn't smell it. <gasps> this, you lean over the pool and <laughs> get a good saw whiff and whoa, talk about clean sinuses. Oh, gross. <laughs> so gross. That's right, you must ha you have no head. That darn pool must be filled with acid. You obviously can't go on living that way. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I don't need to look at it. Oh, that's gross. Okay, we'll stay from the pool of acid, thank you. I don't have anything I could carry acid in anyway. That was my only thought, I was like, maybe I can carry something in it. Uh-oh. Where am I going? Oh, here comes another trick. The beams seem to form sort of electronic barrier across the path. Yeah, they do. All right, let me save this here. All right, I'm gonna save over something down here. Okay, replace with, I'm just gonna jump ahead to 20. All right. What do I have? Um, will this be helpful? It's reflective. Oh, it's working. Yeah. You've quite cleverly turned the beam upon itself, frying and fusing it into a state of inoperability. Yes, and I still have my shiny thing, so that's cool. I'm gonna save over this. 62 out of 201. Hey, I'm feeling good, which means something horrific is gonna happen soon. Uh, but I'm feeling pretty good, especially after last game. Oh my gosh, guys. Can I go straight? 
making a weird squishy sound. You are in the left most room of this cavern, standing sentinel at the juncture of the tower and the upper pathways are two odd looking units obviously placed there on purpose. They no longer operation thanks to you. I can't get anything off them, can I? I don't think so. Alright, so I can't go up. I can only go... And there's acid this way, so that's the problem, is there's going to be acid. I already saw it dripping down. There's going to be a pattern or something. Oh, boy. Unless I have something to neutralize acid, which I don't think I have. This doesn't even, I don't even know what this does. You are unpleasantly surprised by a drop of searing acid which bores its way to your feet. Alright. So, uh, I shouldn't touch the drops of acid. There's nothing I can grab over here, right? Okay, so. We met ever so humble. There's no place like cave. I thought this cave is conveniently, you know, makes a nice little stroll. Alright, I need to look at this and see if there's a pattern. I kind of thought there might have been, but... I don't want there to be a pattern. I just want there to me not have to deal with this. Alright. So that way it's going that way. Yeah... I don't have any umbrellas, do I? Does this do anything? Switch the gadget on. Does it do anything? Nope. Switch the gadget off. Well, I guess to conserve its energy, yeah. I have water, but I don't want to waste that on... I mean, I could, I guess, spray the acid away, but... That seems like a waste. I think I just need to watch the pattern. A second and figure it out. Oh. Well, that wasn't good. Ugh. That picture is so grisly, too. I need to save it up here as well because I don't need to keep walking up here. Walk, 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 walk. I got a new way to walk. Walk, walk. Kids, you don't want to walk like Roger Wilco. It's a problem. Okay. Hang on. Save it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> hmm. You pull a bit down there, but that doesn't help me or hurt me. Can I walk like front? All right, let me see something. Can I walk over here? Okay. Um, I'm going to save it here real quick. I'm going to save it new though because, okay, so, I can stand there for a second, so I need to stay there for a second. Just kind of watch. Yeah, I don't, that's really crazy. And then I think I can get up there if I'm careful with these two. Okay. Oh! Mm, yeah. Okay. I'm okay. That, that wasn't a big deal or anything. That wasn't super upsetting. Okay. Walk up there. Okay, save it here, Jen. Save it here. Save it here. Save it here. Alright. 
Okay, I just got more points. That's the points making sound. 65! I'm gonna save it right here too. DS6 says, that's a great acid death cry. It is! It's like I've been killed by my own stupidity. <laughs> DS6 says, gurgle, sizzle. There you go. Okay, so I got through the acidness. That guy's still stuck on that. Oh man, that stuff is sticky. Good luck with that. The real question is who built this thing and why do they not want us to go anywhere in it? Ooh! Uh oh. Cutscene. As soon as you enter the room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. Suddenly, you become aware of the fact that you cannot move or speak. A strange, unknown force has taken over. Oh, that's not good, guys. A massive holographic image appears, image appears before you. Ooh. I don't like you, this guy. I don't like this guy. It begins to speak. Z Jojob Jib Uvud said Fib. Jow Wickman Class Ekak Wach Slickless Flex Class Glix. Own Ringer Amal Six Depress Fluxier. As a parent result of your inability to understand the alien tongue, the being has sent you back to the surface. You need some kind of help with that. What? Oh, no, no, no. Something I have to have on me has to be important. What do I have in here? Do I mean a translator? What is this thing? But it has a switch. Okay, I'm gonna try this puppy. I know this is just a magnet, but there's gotta be a translation device in here somewhere. There's nothing in there. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go restore, and I'm gonna see if I can turn that gadget on before I walk right there, and if it'll help. So let's turn this gadget on and see what it does. It may not do anything. And it might be just as... It's weird it has like a switch. I don't know. Hoping it's a translation device. Oh, I turned it on way too early. Come on, slow walker. Okay, unknown force. Hoping that this thing was a translation device. Boy, this reminds me of every Nintendo game I ever had. Did it work? It's not speaking. <gasps> so you have found your way to my hollowed chamber. Fortunately, there is much more to you than meets the eye. Well, no, there's not. I have been monitoring your travels on our planet. It appears that you are up to the proverbial estuary without means of locomotion. Oh, gosh. You know? In other words, you're on the Leather Express, slapping the dogs, pounding the sand. You kill for a fine ride. <laughs> you are obviously in need of transportation. Let us see if you are worthy of our assistance. Oh, no. I don't want to know if I'm worthy. On the surface lives a beast called Orat. He proves to be a bit of an annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. Only then will I deal with your plight. Good luck, strange one. That's an orat, guys. Bring me evidence of the beast orat's demise and we'll talk. With that, you find yourself transported back to the surface. All right. Hey, I'm going to turn off that uh, translation device because I don't want the battery to go. Okay, guys. Well, that's awesome. So now we have a mission on the planet. We need to get an ORAT, which is something. We're not really sure what, but uh, it's something. Okay, replace with Space Quest. Alright. So, where do we go? Well, it's on the surface, which narrows it down to a whole planet, guys. So, uh, that should be interesting. Getting in here is going to be a pain because that's going to want to fall through. Alright. What's in here? It's the 
beast is the ominous looking skull. Well, I want to go in the ominous looking skull. <coughs> Excuse me. What did I just do? Why is this coming on? Oh, well, we didn't have to go far, did we? Yeah. Oh, no! Ooh. Yeah. Oren has transformed you into a new piece of recreational equipment. Along with finding this treatment extremely rude, you don't survive it. Alright. It's tough to make friends around here. Relax, stretch out, restore, and let's get back to it. There's adventuring to be done. Okay. Alright. Well, how do I deal with this bully? This guy's not very nice. Do I have more sticky stuff in my... I need to get more... I want to get more sticky stuff because maybe I can use that. But since he lives here, he probably... <sighs> now I'm all worried that I was supposed to drop that on him. Oh no, he didn't let me out of there. Okay, let me get more of this stuff. Because we can always use this glue. Ugh. It looks like the worst kind of bubble gum. absolute worst kind oh all right so I'm gonna save it here quick just cause I want to make sure that I have that all right so we need something to deal with him he's in the skull so you know easy find but how are we gonna deal with this dude probably should have my translation device on but they want me to kill him so Still wonder what that sign says. Okay. A nice slug of water would sure hit the spot right about now. Okay, well, I have water. Um, is that the smartest thing to do? Mmm, that dehydrated water really hit the spot. That should keep you going a bit longer. Oh boy, so I have like a time limit, guys. That's their way of telling me that. I only have so much water till I die. All right, dudes. That's not good. Okay. I still think that's a really cool. What is this? What could be in there? I want to go in there and find out. Can I go in there? I know it's in the scope. Cautiously, you decide to investigate further. It's going to murderize me. Oh, what's in there? Oh, what's that? Oh, man. Just sent me out. I'm not even recognizable. Boy, this game. I'm. I, this will be a very long points in peril. That's where I edit my videos and down to the points and the deaths. There's a lot of deaths. Alright, so that thing just, that just kills you. It fillets you. Hmm. What what do I need to deal with this guy? Oh, guys, I don't like this constant, like, reminding me about the water thing. Like, I don't know if you should be able to pop that off. It's like, whoop, I don't need oxygen, I don't need air. I mean, you can hold your breath for a little while, but depending on the atmosphere... Here's my annoying ship. Alright, is there anything on this ship? Oh, your sense of the ridiculous keeps you from walking off the edge. <laughs> is there anything else in there I can get? How am I supposed to deal with that dude? He's huge. Alright, well... Let's go around this side and... It'll be nice to see it without a uh, spider droid trying to murderize me. Let's just slow down and look around a little bit. I know there's that sign, but, you know. I wonder if I can read it from the side now that I don't have to worry about the spider bot. Spider bot, spider bot, oh spider, spider bot. Alright. This game is very creative in the ways that it murderizes you. Okay, here we go. Nope. I want to go this way. 
I really want to try and read this. Now try and read it. True enough. Okay. So that way leads nowhere. Well, let me save it quick here. 25. I feel like this. I'm trying to. Man. I want to get off this planet too to get to whatever's next. I don't even know what's next, but. Um, I'm excited for it. All right, let's go this way. All right, so if you go too far this any way, you're gonna end up. Okay, we're not going that way now, buddy. Let's go down this way. Okay, so that's where that guy is. Nope. Oh, interesting. I came back in front of it. Let's go down. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. It's all kinds of stuff. It's like a little claw. These four claws were once razor sharp, but the force of the elements have reduced them to oversized blunt toad nails. It's a good thing you didn't come here in earlier time. These things would have torn you a new one. Ha ha. What about these things over there? Can we rip any of this stuff off? Okay, so I can't do anything really with the bones. This is kind of a cool shot. Is there anything I can see from here that's helpful? Alright, can I go down this way? I mean, I know what I have to kill. But I don't know how to kill it. Nope, that's a good way to get you. Oh, I walked the right way. Okay, so I'm just going to reload, restore my old one. Okay. Nope. I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna turn on my translation thing and see what happens when I talk to him. But then I don't really have weapons as such. Like I have. I mean, I have this thing, but that's not gonna do. All right. The first thing we're gonna do is turn on our translation thing. Second thing we're gonna do. I don't know. I might have to, well, if I hit him with water, who knows? We'll go in and see. I'm, I'm going to go in and see right now. I'm going to save it. And then we're going to go in and see, okay? Who knows? We're going to go in and see what this does. Okay, it's letting me do something. Okay. Can I take this? Putting the water on your knife might rest the blade. No, I want to. I want to puncture it. Hmm. I don't know what we're gonna do, guys. You shave off a piece of the plant with the glass and then wonder why. It's pretty sharp. Okay. Can I speak to him? Let's try speaking to him. Though normally known for his an intellectually stimulating conversation in the monster and beast community, Orat seems limited to grunts in the way of response to your probing questions. Okay, well. No, I can't use that on him. So what can I even do? I'm just going to end up dead. Okay, so there's... They give me time to do stuff, which is nice. Oh, no! He's... Irritating. Hmm. Or it has transformed you into a new piece of recreational equipment. We don't survive it. Boom. Alright, so we have to... So there's something we can do with them. We just don't know what. I really wanted to... It says in here, like, don't puncture it. The canon label says... Per Pell Vitron dehydration water, all you add is air, makes 10 gallons. Caution, do not attempt to open or rupture a container. Misuse could result in personal injury and or flash flooding. I wonder if we throw this at him, he tries to open it. It pulverizes him. Alright, let's go in and see that. Because he's not coming out of this cave. 
All right, let's try and give him this. Yeah! Aurat, always in the mood for a snack, snatches the can out of the air with his spacious oral cavity, chews and swallows it. He notices a rumbling deep within his abdomen. Yes, yes, yes! Ooh! <laughs> and that sound, guys, is the sound of victory. Um, awesome and gross. You reach down and take the Aurat part from your hand. Some of it oozes to fill the space between your fingers. Oh, guys, that's gross. All right. Save game. I'm just gonna replace. Replace. Okay, I wanna check out the skulls really quick because it looks awesome. A pile of skulls lie here, sucked clean by Orat, or was a result of him them writing too many adventures games. All right, let me see if I can take one of the skulls. It looks like part of the background. Just leave those depressing remnants of unfortunate explorers alone, will ya? Well, game, you tend to murderize me if I don't get everything right. You notice a fine spray of glistening metallic jelly decorating the walls. Otherwise, it's still the same old homey cave in the skull. All right, here we go. It's going to make me go all the It is, isn't it? I'm going to have to go all the way back through all that craziness. Here we go. And go back down. I have a feeling this vertebrae is going to fall apart after I leave, so... I think I've explored and gotten it everything I can possibly get, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. Here we go. What's going on? I don't like it when that little time piece comes up because that makes me nervous. Alright, I'm gonna save. I'll take this one and make it into 26. Because I don't need that one anymore. At least I hope I don't. Okay, we're going up here. So that's exciting, guys. I feel so much better about this part of the game. I have my manual ready in case I need it again. And I actually looked it over before playing. And it tells you right on there what you need to do. Well, not the whole thing, but... Oh! No doubt about it, there's going to be an accident of one kind or another on this shaky piece of calcium-rich matter. Okay, so it's really limiting how much we can go up here. Which means do it right the first time, I guess. Save. Replace. Replace. I just want to make sure that... I don't know if he can fall off the spine. But um, if he can, he will. And I feel like that that spine's not going to really last another trip. They're really like, come in once to get the mission. Come in a second time to do the mission. If you try and come in any more times, you're going to be dead. And that was just a red herring right there. us do the acid rain again guys you're getting to truly hate this elevator yeah I really don't like it either oh still stuck all right I'm just gonna save it here all right because I just don't want to the acid rains the thing that's gonna be the most annoying I was wondering if those things were ribs or something. I don't think these guys are really the best guys either. I mean, they might give me something, but I don't think they're really... I don't know. I don't know if the term is nice guys, but they're not really nice guys either. Because who does this mess? This really doesn't say welcome wagon. Oh, good. They haven't fixed it in the time I've been gone either. I'm like, please tell me you need to fix this stuff. Here we go. If they're so great, they would have just uh, transported me back and said, you did a great job, buddy. Here we go. Okay, I stink and hate this part. Can they turn off the acid for a guest? All right. I'm gonna replace 21 with 27. We'll have fun with this. I thought I was done with the acid screaming, by the way. Hopefully I am. But I have a feeling 
I'm not. Yep. Ugh. I wasn't. Ugh. That is truly horrifying. Alright. Oh, I'm going too fast. I need to stop and save. And then go. Ugh, that's just... Ugh. I know what he's going to be for Halloween, guys. Save it. And save it again. Yay! Okay, we made it through. That acid is a pain to deal with. Alright, I'm gonna go up here, then I'm gonna turn on my translation matrix or whatever it is. The thing allows that a lot. Oh, play. Thing that allows you to uh, understand aliens in every game and science fiction movie. Okay, turn it on. I had it on this whole time? Oh, well, that doesn't seem like a good plan. Okay. Here we go. Again, the massive holographic image appears before you. So you have returned. Do you have proof of the destruction of Orat? If so, drop it before me. Uh, yeah, it's this gross thing right here. Oh, I had to put it literally right before me. Ew. You drop the Orat part to the ground. The vision is silent as the dainty morsel splats to the dry soil. You are startled by a rumbling. Suddenly, an oddly shaped door comes into view and slowly opens. You hear a, a voice, different this time, beckoning you to step forward. Okay. Suspense, guys. Suspense. Who's this beckoning voice? Oh, this is nice. When you step through the door, slides close with a faint hissing sound. You are alone in a large room full of strange equipment. And I'm gonna look at all of it, guys. Oh, that dude is... What is that dude? <laughs> Please, don't be alarmed. We intend no harm. We are a peaceful race. We are cautious, however. Others don't share our way of life. Welcome to Corona. The party planet. You are standing in the power generator generation facility of our underground settlement. All power here is produced by steam. That isn't important to you, however, we have promised you transportation. It is a skimmer. It hovers approximately half a meter above the traveling surface. This is very important because of Grell. Grell and his like dwell in caves below the sand. If you stand on the surface too long, your chance you chance becoming a rare moist meal for him. The skimmer is programmed to take you to a settlement on the other side of Corona called you lent flats. You can make further travel arrangements there. I'm sorry, this is all we can offer. I hope your trip is a safe one. Board the skimmer when you're ready to depart. Good luck, strange one. Alright, I want to look around because obviously there is stuff in here. Stuff, 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 stuff. Alright, let's look around. Every few seconds, steam escapes from the vents to left excess pressure. There's nothing visible on the computer screen, but could there be something visible on the computer screen? Oh, guys, you might need to insert a data cartridge for this thing to work. And I have one. I have one, everybody. Look at this. Uh, I, should, I don't know if I saved or not, but I'm going to save it again. Here we go. I have one. Here we go. Loading. Whoever shall read this, my name is Dr. Slash Vahul. I'm a scientist with the Star Generator Project aboard the Star Sh Star Lab Arcadia. We have just successfully completed development and testing of the Star Generator. During this time, I have come to believe that our progress has been monitored by others. I fear that the Saurians may have learned of our mission. If my fears prove true, the Star Generator and the people of our universe are in serious jeopardy. Sad music. 
The star generator is a miraculous device used as intended. It will help preserve life for eons to come. So does the star generator actually generate a star? Used as a device for evil, it could cause the destruction of millions of lives and enslave all who oppose the Saurians. Boom. Boom. Encoded within this cartridge are all the plans and specifications. Whoa, for the construction of the star generator. We're in trouble. We should not be having this. We are not smart enough to handle this. Should any disaster befall the star generator project, scientists would be able to create a duplicate of the star generator with this information. That's a lot of responsibility for a janitor. Please guard it with your life and return to the Xenon ruling body as quickly as possible. Okay. Important note, the star generator is capable of self-destruction. This was introduced to the system as a precaution to activate it one must enter the code 3186. Well, I should probably remember that or write that down. 3186. Okay. A five minute time will begin to count down. Beware of anyone within five kilometers of the star generator will be in danger once the timer has been initiated. Please be careful and good luck. Gosh, guys, man. Okay, let me make sure I had I got it back, by the way. Uh no, I need to still grab it. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of here. What if you left it there, guys? Wouldn't that be terrible? <laughs> what if you were like, oh, it it picked it up, right? Hi, Hero Harmony! Hero Harmony says, and good luck. Well thank you. I need all the luck I can get with this game. <laughs> with any of the Sierra point and clicks, really. These gouges, gauges, gouges, we're not gouging things out of the wall. These gauges appear to monitor the pressure in the pipes. You think about the thousands of pounds of boiling hot steam in the system and hope the gauges work. What's he doing? Oh, he kind of scared me. Can I walk around? I wonder if I can like walk someplace other than, like can I see some of their settlement? Or is that not allowed? I mean the ship's right there, but. I want to see. I want to look at things. I want to see how your steampunk economy works. Where's the guys with all the monocles? That's a thing, right? <laughs> okay, so he can't go anywhere. Can I talk to this guy at all? Don't bother the guy. He's busy. What about this? Is this anything cool? Large metal cylinders form supports for the upper level. Can I get to the upper level? You decide not to. They're so rusty, they might crumble and bring the whole place down. What do you think you are, a Michael Jordan? That is an old reference, but Michael Jordan's still cool. Alright. What are these things over here? You tap on a ga ga gauge. The needle quivers and returns to its original position. Well, that's kind of cool. I can't. There's nothing I can really do, right? Alright. We're just gonna go. I'm glad it's programmed to take me where I need to go because I don't know where I need to go. More points, guys. Boom. That's all that guy does that all day is fix that panel. This section is an arcade sequence. Would you like to play or skip the sequence? Would you like to play? Yeah, I'm going to play. Oh boy. Play. Uh-oh. Oh no. How am I supposed to? This is just like, <gasps> dang it. I hated this in King's Quest 2 and I hate it with this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm doing it. Hey, that thing went diagonally. It went right for me. Hey, you're not allowed to like aim for me. You're supposed to be rocks. You're not supposed to. Oh gosh, he's not gonna make it, guys. He's not gonna make it. Oh. Uh, uh. 
Oh no. <laughs> Late warning, the big lot the big rock cuts you no slack. Okay. So I'm, you laugh, zombie man. You just keep laughing. Okay, let's try this again. You don't want to touch the pipes. I was trying to grab. No! Okay, so there's nothing else in here. We've already looked at all that stuff. I already have everything else I need. So make sure I have my cartridge. Yeah. Okay, let's get in here. Here we go! Time for me to. Man, that guy's job is not fun. Okay, here we go again, guys. We basically got our space moped. Let's play it. Here, Harmony says, those rocks move too fast. Yes, they do. They're terrifying. <laughs> They're terrifying VGA rocks. And the one came diagonally. I don't think you were supposed to be able to... It's supposed to come at you diagonally. I don't think rocks are supposed to like aim for you, but I feel that they are. All right. We're still going to play it because, I don't know, it's part of the game. Dying is just part of this game. While we're waiting for this to load up, if any of you guys are lurking or new, please follow me. I always, so far, I've always streamed on Monday and Thursday nights. Um, I also have a YouTube channel where I put together all my deaths and points called Points in Peril. If you want to check it out, I've already played through King's Quest 1 and King's Quest 2 and King's Quest 3. And now we're doing Space Quest 1. Um, so, what are you, oh, good, well, I'm glad it let me do my little PSA. Okay. Ah! Okay, I don't like you! It's like, it's like you don't want to move? I'm going to make you move. That was a fake out. <gasps> nope, nope, oh, dang it. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. That should not, that does not make visual sense. This planet does not, it's defying the laws of physics and every other law. And the laws of driving. You know, if they give you a skimmer, it should be able to skim. Ah, dang it. Here we go again. Hi, Flaming Hot Cheeto! We're paying Space Quest tonight! I get to die a lot! I've already been killed by acid several times. What just happened? What? Oops, had the darn thing in reverse. I hope nobody saw that. What is that, guys? Is that, a, that is not a thing that happened before, I don't think. Alright, here we go. Yes, I wanna I wanna play. Thank you. Oh oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no, no. So the big rocks like just instantly kill you. Okay, that's good to know. Alright. Oh boy. Keep laughing, zombie man. Okay. There we go. This thing is like a grandma skimmer. This is, this is... Alright, I will get through this. I will get through this. Okay. Well, let's not kill me right away. Ah! Yep. Whoa! Okay. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Uh. Nah, nah. Skimmer doesn't really skim. <sighs> ah, guys, that's not good. <gasps> nope. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm not good at this. There's a reason I don't play first-person shooters. Ah, this isn't even anything like that, but I'm still the same way. <laughs> My reaction time. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Let's restore. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Oh, 
I feel like they gave us grandma's hover round. This is definitely something... Oh, that was not smart. Whoop. Okay, that was bad, but not as bad as it could be. Whoa! This is like a really, really bad, frustrating cell phone game. Alright. It's like. Yeah, I know, I'm on death. I. Okay. I need to use my brain instead of my reflexes because my reflexes definitely aren't working here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, dude. Your loincloth is cool. Where'd you get it? Oh, gosh. This is me when my dad tried to teach me how to drive st stick shift. I did eventually learn, but uh, I did a lot of rollbacks on that thing. All right, let's play. Okay, I need to, it's like, ah. <sighs> yeah, you tried to get me with that one. You didn't get me, oh man. Whoa, whoa, yep, 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 ah. <sighs> Over more. Nope, 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 nope. Oh gosh, please be done soon. Nope, nope. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna live. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, guys! Okay. One more time. I don't know if I'm getting better or worse, but uh, we're gonna go for it. Seriously, if I do this a couple more times and I can't get it, I will just skip it to spare us all the humiliation. I'll pretend it's a little league game and I'll enforce the mercy roll. Oh, come on. Zombie man says, insert another quarter. <laughs> okay. Play. I don't like how you use it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Oh gosh, this is That was unfair. Ah! All right, one more time. I don't always have to win. I don't feel like a grudge against this game where I have to beat this stupid mini game. But... All right, get into first gear the first time, Roger. Come on, you can do it. Oh, come on. Oh, everybody saw that, Roger. Everybody saw that. All right, here we go. Oh, man. You need to look at Roger and be like, you know what? We need to give him the one that really... Has all the safety protocols in place. Just get in, start texting on your cell phone, and it'll just drive you there. Oh, gosh. That's an extra long crash this time. I dislike. Dislike. Alright, I will beat this. I'm not going to spend all night on this, but I'm. I feel like the game owes me this. I need I need to win this one. Hey dude, like your dreads. Here we go. Oh. This thing is definitely burning space equivalent of oil. 
whatever the space equivalent is. It's definitely burning that. Let me play. Game's almost like, are you sure you want to do that? Only go where I tell you to go. Not so far. Okay. Bam. 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 I don't like this. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. If you're, if you're chatting now, I'm not reading chat. I can't even talk. Holding my breath. See the dang city, guys. This is wrong. Ugh. Had you eaten a few less donuts during the mission, you might have cleared that rock. <laughs> I've had no donuts. All right. All right. One more time. And then I'm seriously done with this. Your Harmony says, you start with four vehicular health points, whatever you back up like that. My immersion is broken. Flaming Hot Cheeto. Oh, OMG, you had it. I know, I could see the city. <laughs> I could see the city. Or town, or probably little. All right. Oop. Okay. Oh boy. All right, I really. If I beat this, I will share my secret with you guys. Of how. Oh. No. I don't think hovering works like this. Oh gosh, come on. I can see the city. Oh gosh. Come on, game. You did that on purpose. Oh, no! <laughs> DS6 says, let Bob drive. I probably could. He tries to eat the ma Bob is the cat, by the way. He tries to use the mouse on a regular basis, so. All right, guys, what do you say? One more time. One more time. And then I'm done with this mini game. <laughs> and the game can just, ugh. All right, here we go. Get in there. That's right, lumber your way in there, buddy. Mm. Zombie Man says, yep. You're enjoying this too much, Zombie Man, aren't you? All right. Yes, we all saw it. You're a terrible driver. Here, Harmony says, never give up, that is my saying. Okay, there we go. Never give up, never surrender. That's Galaxy Quest, which is a good movie. If you have not seen it, you should definitely see it. This game reminds me of Galaxy Quest. Okay. 
for me. Nope. Ah, nope. 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 Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, no. One more time because I almost had it. I, it's showing me that it's mocking me with the city. It is mocking me with the city. You can see it. You can see the city. It's just it's so mean to me. I'd also like to point out that this guy told me it would just take me where I needed to go. Liar! All right, here we go. I just I'm so I can see I can see the Emerald City city guys. I can see it. I can see it. Follow the yellow brick road. Ah! Nope, don't sing. Nope. 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 Ah! Nope. 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 for me. Nope. Nope. Don't like you. Not my friend. Nope. Ah, nope. I don't like you. You don't smell good. Stay away. Gosh, guys, how much longer can this go on? Don't like. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Zombie man, <laughs> it's like driving Miss Daisy slow. DS6 says this stretch of barrens shall henceforth be known as the Nope Flat. <laughs> addicted to it or anything. I don't feel like a pathologic desire, desire just to beat it just so I can say I did it. I never have to speak to you again. Uh. Oh gosh. I'm pretty sure Roger doesn't even have a license. Yes, we want to play. Uh. Oh, yeah. Nope. Mm, don't like you. Stop it. No, oh, this is worse. This is my worst. This is the worst this has ever been. I'm just getting worse and worse, guys. It's like that moment when you try and parallel park and you, 
you know you're in trouble and it just gets worse from there. Oh no, 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 no. This is why Luke wanted to leave Tatooine. He's like, no. Okay, here we go. I want my piece of slimy alien back. Arm is going off. Nope. Uh, yuck. Ah, no. I don't like it. Stay away. You're scratching the paint job. No. That is not okay. I ah uh, gosh. <sighs> oh, stop fat shaming me because my thing crashed. <sighs> okay. Yes, zombie man. It is the road road trip from. Hell. Okay, here we go. Mm. So close, but yet so far. I feel like it would be so disappointed when I get there. Cause I'm like, it's gonna be a mining town with like one, one, sad spaceport. Okay, just. All right, guys. This I I promise this is the last time. I don't have a problem. I don't need to go to arcade game rehab or anything. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. DS6 they mi says they missed an opportunity. Did they? Did you? <laughs> there you say. They should have caught it. Kalimdorf. That's Yes, you can call it Condor Flats if you want to, but I think it's its own little special thing. Because the game tells me I can skip this. I don't have to do this. This is the crazy thing. I can hit skip if I really want, but there's something that feels so, like, compelling about, like, their game is set up for me to fail, but somehow... Tommy Man says, you got this, Jen. CS6, do you need a Twitter invention? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. But I guess if you think you don't have a problem, then you have a problem. Isn't that what they say? Which means that everybody's just good to everything because <laughs> no one ever thinks they have a problem. And if you don't have a problem, you don't think you have a problem. So it's a very... Oh, I have a problem, guys. Twitch intervention? All right. Okay. 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 This time is going to be the time, guys. I can tell. It's going to be it. Hey, there we go. He didn't, you know, crunch the back of the skimmer. Alright, here we go. No, it's not. It's not the time, guys. It's not the time. I to themselves. I don't know. What's wrong with me? Oh. Alright. This is the absolute last time. Really it is. It honestly is. This is worse than the seahorses. I think the seahorses was so much better than this, guys. When I In King's Quest 2 when I had to do this. Just go. You just... Ugh. It's like you're trying to make an, a dramatic exit and you don't realize, like... You know, your flies down, or you try and leave a room, and you bump your shoulder into the door frame really loud, and embarrass yourself, give yourself a giant bruise. This is what this game feels like. Okay.
Mind you, I really had it, guys. I really had it. I, uh... Alright guys, I think I might be tapping out. I really, I want to beat this so bad, but I need to, we gotta move on to the next thing. Like, I only have so much time tonight. Do we really want to spend the whole time? Well, I mean, you guys enjoy watching me fail, but I want to know what that town is. Like, I want to know, I want to go on to the next thing and I won't have time. Zombie Man says, just one more time. Really? Just one more time? Alright, for you, Zombie Man, just one more time. Don't like you. No. No. Get out of my way, you giant cow pat. No. Ah, dang it. Ah! Now I'm borderline throwing a fit. Plus, <laughs> DS6 says, when you click skip, I wonder if the game will say good call. I don't know, but I, I don't know. Or maybe give you and maybe give you a point. If this game is a joke game and there's no way to win it, I will definitely throw a fit on the floor right now, like a baby. All right, I. Okay, guys, I have to call it. I have to call it. I. It's. 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 I don't have. I don't have to do the mini game, and I'm not gonna do the mini game. Everyone knows Roger's incompetent. He should just hit the switch, that says, whatever. What's he doing? It's just going... It's letting him go just straight? That's all he's doing? It's, it's gonna make us watch this? This is ridiculous. Look at this. Were these rocks just leaping in front of me? Oh my gosh. I cannot even believe this. This makes me more mad. <gasps> no! That is not fair. Maybe you could try playing the arcade sequence next time. No, 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 that is unfair. DS6 is, oh, that is kind of cute and mean at the same time. Maybe you could try playing the arcade sequence. Oh, oh, and they made it look so easy. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, this guy is very suspicious. After a truly stone-crushing journey, <laughs> you have miraculously arrived safely in Eulens Flats. And just in time, too, because the skimmer's power cell has been drained, it will take some time to recharge itself. This place isn't quite what you had expected. It is semi-bleak at best. Flaming out Jesus says, No, they didn't. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Okay, we're in a semi-bleak place, which is better than a totally bleak place. An odd-looking fellow, in case you missed this guy, <laughs> is hand lounging against the wall of a nearby building, watching you with a great deal of interest. Okay. Oh, man. I do not like this guy, guys. What is he doing? It's got the, those shoulder pads are really the way he's walking. Say, pal, I couldn't help noticing your skimmer. It's a genuine '86 Pilates GL. I've been looking everywhere for one of these babies. Have you, weird snake? That eye is bothersome. How'd you like to unload it for unheard of price of twenty-five buckazoids? They did this to me. Now I don't know what even to do. No way. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no way. I'm gonna say no way. Cause fine, be that way. Because I don't even know how much twenty five bucket of is. Oh boy. That's I made I made a decision that could be terrible or great. Let me just look at this to make sure I can I take the keys out. The sand skimmer is a one passenger mode of transportation. It looks like it has skimmed quite a bit of sand in its time. On its control panel is a small readout, currently dark, and a keyhole with a key in it. Yes, we're taking the key. 
you remove the skimmer's key from its dashboard. Okay, I'm going to save as a new one. Because I don't know if that was the right decision or not to make. Like, that guy looks like a shyster, but at the same time, who else is going to buy this thing? Right, where are we at here? Or 27, so we'll do 28. Like, I don't even know. Okay, place Space Quest 28. Like, I have no idea what they're doing. Okay. But I did take my key, so that's a good thing. Okay. That is a very small door. Come on. <laughs> Hi, ZZ Top. Or ZZ Top. Okay, this is fun. Let's look at these guys. On stage are two heavily bearded gents and a relatively clean-shaven drummer. They're one of the hottest bands in the quadrant. <laughs> the, this character kind of reminds you of a cute fluffy kitten you had when you were a kid, except that he weighs about 400 kilos and has a foot-long razor-sharp claws and a bad attitude. This character looks like an economy-sized version of your Uncle Buck's toupee. Ooh. You must be getting dizzy. You're seeing triple... Oh, dirty joking. Some strange blue dude currently monopolized the slots of Death Machine. This guy appears to have blown in from Santa Cruz. Oh, slam Santa Cruz. A fine example of his species, whatever that is. Alright, well, let's start talking to some people. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, there's a speaker. This is a seedy little place. Galactic riffraff are seated at the bar. A bearded band is cranking out some of the more popular tunes in the quadrant. There's a slot machine standing near the bar. You notice a sweeper in the corner of the room. It must get messy here. No one seems to notice or care that you've entered the bar. Where's the sweeper in the corner of the room? Why is there a sweeper? Oh, what are these little dudes? Cute little purple guys, eh? They sure can put away that brew. Where's the sweeper? That's interesting there's a sweeper in here. Okay, so I'm going to start talking to people. Hello. Will you be my friend? No. Hi, the name's Wilco. Roger Wilco, what's yours? I am some, sometimes called Speaker to the Cartoons and sometimes Flare of Soft Pink Mammals. Ooh. Mind if I sit down? Buzz off, monkey boy. Alright, what are these guys? What's the use? They can't understand the word they're saying. I'm gonna talk to this guy. I think this is one of the guys from the cover, actually. Can I offer you a milk bone? You inquire and attempt to be friendly. What? Oh, poor social skills. Grr. You decide you just can't make friends with everybody. Alright. Hello. So, you come here often? Get out of my face, Pinky. You decide she's not your type. He type. Heck, she's not even your species. Forget it. This guy's not exactly spark sparkling conversationalist. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Excuse me, good man. I would like a drink. Oh my! I'm busy. Wait your turn. So what's your beef, Junior? I don't have a beef. Do you want a beer? Oh gosh, guys. All these decisions. Alright, I'll say yes. Here you go. Oh boy. Mmm, <laughs> it tastes better than it smells. Thank goodness. Another one would be nice. Look at this dude. Well, look, the game's free. I don't want to drink another one. I don't know. Yo, how about a refill? I'm busy. Wait your turn. He always says that he does what he wants anyway. Want another drink? I don't know. Should I get another drink? Come on, bud. If you haven't got the money, hit the sand. Did I spend all my money? Did I spend all my buckazoids? I have one buckazoid left. I probably shouldn't have spent it, but... Because this game looks like the kind of game that you play when you're desperate for money. I hope ZZ Top got paid for this. Or at least enjoyed it. Oh boy. Okay. What's it saying? Bet one payoff. Okay. Let's roll, guys. Insert a bookazoid into the slot. Alright, let's see. 
I feel like I'm going to have to save this game and play this game a lot to make any kind of money. Is that a slot? With shaking hands, you insert your last buckazoid into the slots of death machine. Let's roll. Oh no, we're going to just die. Nope. Nope. You lose, homeboy. Does that really say homeboy? Alright, here we go. Ah! Alright, I had to play the game of death once. At least I get to restore. It's a very cute. I wish I had a vacuum machine like that. Oh man. That's just. Luck's turn has cost you dearly. As your dust particles gradually drift across Corona's barren landscape, you reflect upon the irony of your fate. Many was the time you swept and dumped piles of dust very similar to your current state. Okay. Restore. Okay, I wanna... Let me see if I should walk around before I go in there and just see. I wonder if I can make money off of that. C plus CC. The back of the bar looks about as dingy as the front. What are these things? The force field sensors detect any moving ground-based animals to prevent them from entering or leaving. Oh, so I can't leave now that I'm here, but I don't mind that much. Ooh. Do I need to get some of that dust? It's kind of gross. But there's lots of things we've picked up that have been kind of gross. Oh, look. Searching through the pile of dust, you find six buckazoids. Nice, guys. Okay, so that's cool. I now have ten buckazoids. Is there anything else in there? What? DS6 says, that graffiti looks like control C to me, missing the R though. It kind of does. I found another two buckazoids, guys. I don't have to play that game, I just come out here and search the... What? How many more buckazoids can I find? Find nothing but ashes, which, well, I'm gonna try it one more time. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so how many buckazoids do I have now? I have 14. Okay, that was cool. I don't need to play the death game, I guess, then. Or maybe I do. Oh. Um, I'm going to search that again. <laughs> I'll just stay in here and search their dust. It's probably not a good idea. They're like, um, get a life, dude. 14 for me that sweeper can't uh, apparently distinguish between just gonna keep dropping stuff out here man okay all right I don't think I'm gonna get any more money that way but oh, there's just so many things it's doing all right I'll come back I'm not above searching through Oh, the ashes. Mm. Droids be us. Oh boy, guys. Let me save. Uh, I'm gonna do 29 and we'll just see how that goes. Space Quest 29. Space Quest 29. All right. Let's go in and see what dwar dwar droids be us. It doesn't look like the kind of droids you actually want. I didn't even read the sign. DS6 says, Oh boy, greetings sir. Allow me to show you our fine line of robots, otherwise known as droids. We have a wide variety of work-saving, life-enhancing, shiny, new, factory-fresh, technolo technological wonders of modern engineering wizardry. Okay. However, I can see that we would be more uh, interested in our line of economy-priced used robots, wouldn't we? <laughs> Look up here. Please observe our robot preview screen. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. DS6 says, Buckazoids are disintegration laser proof. Make up a spacesuit out of them. All right. Oh, look. Haven't we seen him in a recent Marvel movie, guys? 
Alright, so what am I supposed to be looking at? Looks like some sort of... Oh. The view screen shows pictures of droids currently available in your rather limited price range. Okay, well... The Plaxis sales bug of the year. You better watch your money around this guy. Alright, so... Um, this model has had a bad... Oh, the Dalek. Unearned, <laughs> if you will. They're just a wee bit too ambitious, is all, and who of us isn't? It's quite an endearing quality, actually. Doctor Who reference, guys. However, we're fresh out of them right now. Nobody seems to survive long enough to trade them in. Alright, so... What's a hey -o? These are really some of the most useful all-purpose robots around, and extremely good with children. Of course, they're all in hibernation this time of the century. I could let you have them for just over 875 buckazoids, 700 with a coupon. Oh gosh, guys. What's this guy? This is one of my better bodyguard models, and it also doubled as a radio arm saw. If I had one fault, it was probably a tendency to be overzealous. It is no longer available except for demolition purposes. His memory isn't the best, so I'll let you have him for just 512 buckazoids, 410 with a coupon. I need to get a coupon, guys. Oh, I have to wait till the screen switches. Sorry. These robots have a bad attitude. You've got to keep them in line or they'll walk all over you. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't consider buying this particular model. No, we shouldn't. All right, what's the next one? That's kind of cool. This model is ideal for flight systems operations. He looks like the 80s robot from the Muppet movie. He will pilot many modern fighter or cruiser, and it is one of the most experienced droids, droids we carry. I ask only 45 buckazoids for it, or 36 with a coupon. I got it from some gambling type who is required to pay up or perish. Ooh. Okay, so that's the one I kind of like, but I don't have enough money to get it. I don't know if I need it yet, but I have a feeling we're going to... I mean, there's no way. There's no way that Roger can fly, okay? There's just not... He's not going to fly, guys. We all know this. All right, let's go over here and see what's going on. I might have to sell my... Maybe I should have sold my thing, but I kind of feel like I shouldn't have. All right. Oh, is that... Well... Boy... Let me go over here quick. I want to see if this is a coupon. We're clipping coupons tonight in Space Quest, guys. What is this thing? All sales final. <laughs> oh, well, that's not a coupon there. Alright, let's go this way. Maybe we can just stand outside the bar all day and, like, sift through the dust. Like, oh. <laughs> just in case talking to this guy gets me killed. What do you want now? I was just about finished my internal diagnostics check. Now I'm going to have to recalibrate my photoelectric scanner and membranes and begin all over again. Carbon-based life forms can be so trying sometimes. If you haven't purchased a robot, I have nothing for you. Now go away. Oh, that's the guy who gives us a robot. Or as Isaac Asimov would call them, robots. Oh, I like this, guys. What is this? It's awfully small, and it's also much older than you. Actually, this ship is not bad looking. It appears to be a Dralian cruiser. They have reputation for quickness and reliability. Okay. Can I just get in here, I wonder? I shouldn't, but can I do it? There's a saying in these parts, you don't touch a ship that isn't yours, you don't die. True enough, but can I buy some of these ships off somebody? Oh, ouch, that hurt. You are, starting, you are standing next to the protective barrier encircling Ulency Flats. Due to the fact that you are land-based, you are not able to pass. Okay. Well, i got to figure out a plan. I need to get a ship, and I need to get a, sh uh, uh, a robot to pilot it. Oh. Howdy, bucko. Can I interest you in one of these finest little-used spaceships in the galaxy? You look like a man of discerning taste. This one, for instance, is just your speed. Er, style, that is. This is quite a unique little unit. Never been flown over Mach 3. It was owned by a little old lady from Glansodrome. You have to fly it to believe it, and she can be yours for only 99 buckazoids. One time offer only. Talk to me, friend. I'm not going to talk to you. All right. 
right, well, I don't have a lot of money. So how about a partner? Can I shoot anything here? Can we do business or what? I'm at your service. Talk to me, chief. I'll tell you, old buddy, 99 buckazoids is as low as I can go for this baby. 99 buckazoids. I need like over 100 buckazoids, guys. How am I going to get that kind of money? And the stupid barrier thing gets hitting me. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. Well, good luck. Come again. I don't have any money to do. Alright, so... I know how much I... Golly! Ah! Yikes, it looks like you hit that fence field one too many times. Not only did it burn every follicle of hair from your sleek frame, but your, but your aorta, if you could see it, now resembles the end of a red celery stalk. Oh, gosh, Christ, that's gross. Let me go over here and talk to him again so the game knows that I talked to him and save it and then get back to the bar. There's got to be a way I can, I don't know. If they say it's I have to like bet someone on a race and play that mini game again, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, dang it. Well, I know I am, but I, I couldn't see the one over on this side over here. To talk to this guy. Oh boy. Listen here, dude. I'm sick of all your mess. Yes, I know. $99. That's as low as you can go. Alright, let's go this way. Um, I'd love to, but I don't think so. Okay, here's nice and safe. Okay, let me go. Let me just save this again. Okay, Bob, don't jump on the keyboard. My cat is sitting, staring. Okay, buddy, you drive a hard bark, and this is my final offer, and I'm only making it because I can see you need it pretty bad. I'll make it 30 buckazoids, and I'll throw in this swell jetpack. It was previously owned by a little old dark who only flew it back and forth to Pleva on Sunday. It works great in zero gravity. You'll love it. No way, that's not enough money. Fine, be that way. If he came back and made another offer, he's going to offer again. Oh, my head's sticking to the bar, guys. That can't be healthy. No, I was going into the bar. I didn't even know how I ended up here. I, I wanted to go into the bar. I didn't want to, like, walk through. Oh, golly. Golly. Okay, here we go. Is there any way I can make some money around here, guys? Are you over here? Is there anything? Because I have how much money right now? Oh, I have 112 out of 210, which is nice. But how much money do I have? You have four, I only have 14 buckazoids. Bob, stop eating paper. There's no dance contest or anything, is there? You don't have the time to talk to you. Alright. Where do you talk to him? Buzz off, monkey boy. I don't want to buy a beer because I don't need to waste the money, but I need to like get some information or figure out a way to make some money. Mm. What's your beef, Junior? No. Stop bothering me already. I don't have enough money to mess on that thing. Do I have to drink one drink to get this guy to disintegrate to play that game? But I feel like that game's rigged. Like, I think I'm just gonna be dead. Bob! Oh my gosh. My cat's trying to eat everything in my house that's not food. He has food in his bowl, but he prefers paper. Okay, buddy, you drive a hard bargain. This is my final offer, and I'm only making it because I can see it's pretty bad. 30 buckets of weights. No. No way. That's not enough money. 
If he would, he would steal that. I just know it. That's why I took the key out. I could tell. This is a bad part of town. Star Trek. Well, let me just, like, filter through this stuff. Like, how many more times? Like, how many more people are gonna be disintegrated and I can get their change out of here? It's just sad. So... I don't know if I'm supposed to go buy a beer and then go in there and play that game, but that game is, it's a dangerous game. All right, I'm gonna go in and play the death game. Oh, this is so. I'm gonna save it before I play again. Oh, I would say how the mighty have fallen, but Roger's never been fallen. Or mighty. He's always been falling. <laughs> I flipped that around. Alright, let's go in here. Here we go, guys. We're gonna go in, and we're gonna buy a beer so that guy that gets disintegrated, sadly. No. No way. I walked to the building again, didn't I? It's not gonna it's gonna take me back here. It is! No, guys, I should not be able to walk through the building. Thank you very much. Good gravy. I want to go down into the building. I want to see if I can win that death game or if it's just a cruel trick. There we go. There we go. It keeps offering me. 30 might be his limit, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to... I'm going to save it here, but I think I'm going to have to... Oh, blessed quiet from that music. It's not bad, it's just too much for the system to handle. I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to buy a beer. I'd like to buy a beer, sir. One beer, because then that guy, the, the blue guy, will disintegrate. Yes, I will buy one. Here you go. Oh, I just sucked that thing down rather than like. Alright. Bum ba dum. Yo, how about a refill? I'm busy. Wait your turn. What's your beef, Junior? No, I don't want another drink. Stop bothering me already. Is that how the drink was? Is that what set this off so I could play this game? Was it the drink? Or was it the fact that I saw... You notice a sweeper in the corner of the room. It must be messy here. No one seems to notice or care that you have entered the bar. Let me talk to this guy. Some strange blue dude is currently monopolizing the swaths of the death machine. I think it'll last time to get him off. He doesn't have time to talk to you. DS6 says, she's got kegs, she knows how to booze them. Cause ZZ Top and Bar. No, that is funny. She's got kegs! This guy, what did I do last time? I got down to my last buck. Is that what they want me to do? Does the game want me to be truly desperate? Bum, 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 bum. Can you imagine how amazing this was back in the day? They were like so excited. They're like, I can't believe it. Ah yes, that hits the spot. Just one more should do it. Just one more should do it? Dude. I need you functional, not plastered. Those are big beers. And you haven't had anything to eat all day. I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, let's order another drink. Why not? I can always... Oh! There we go. As you sip another of the odd brews, you hear someone in the bar speaking. There I was, cruising through Sexter GG when I spot this blip on the scanner. So I head toward it, you see, and right there in front of me sits the Deltor. It was just sitting there, and my heart starts to hyper-warping on me. I figure my milliseconds are numbered. All I can think of doing is getting my craft out of there, so I'm reaching for the throttle. All of a sudden, there's this incredible flash of light, you see, and just like that, this little planetoid explodes into a ball of fire. I tell ya. I've never seen anything like it. I mauled the throttle and got out of there. Quickie bet. 
That's not a good thing. Nope, she's not going to talk to me. Okay, so I don't know who was saying that, but bad stuff's happening. It sounds like the star drive's getting in the hand of the bad guys. Okay, whew. All right, we're going to replace this and do Space Quest 30. Okay, we're going to go over and play this game. Because it literally make us, it made us drink our money down until we didn't have any. Because now we have just one, right? We just have one Buckazoid, it looks like. No, we still have more than that. How many do we have? Eight. Okay, well, let's see what it does here. I just want to see. The game might want us to get plastered, and that's what we have to do. Wins 20, wins 10, wins death. Oh, it's just going to kill us, guys. I know it, but I know it's. I still have to try it anyway. Still have to. Okay, here we go. You have. You bet one, you have seven. Let's roll. Oh, it's just going to be skulls. Oh, hey, what's that? Oh. Not a chance. All right. Let's try again. Let's see. Oh, cherry. Cherry. Oh, what do I get? Oh, I... I won. Okay, well, you have won, you bet. Eight. I need to win, like, a big. If this is a real. Like, if this is anything like a real one, I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh, no. Not a chance. Alright, let's see, guys. Seems like just as effective as actual gambling, which is not effective at all. Nope, I'm dead. Nope. Eat sand. Wonder what happens. All right. I also need to um, see what happens if I keep drinking. Because each time I get drunk, a little more stuff keeps happening. So, oh, what's this? Come on. I have twenty six. Okay. Let's exit out of here real quick. I have twenty six. I'm going to save it here. Save a new game. This is going to be the way. Real gambling doesn't let you do this, but we can do this. We can go, okay, we're going to save here because we just won. And then we'll uh, play again. And then if we don't win, then that's okay. We'll just go back to a restore point. It'd be nice if, okay, here we go. Let them roll. All right, here we go. Spaceship. Come on. Oh. Nope. So sorry. You're not sorry. Alright. I'm gonna exit. Put my hand down and exit. Alright. We're gonna restore. I really need that ship, guys. We're gonna restore. Here we go. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. Roger's really at a low point in his life. Oh, we're just going to be murderized. There we go. You lose, homeboy. It's funny the bar doesn't filter that through something. They're not like, hey, uh, droid, can you not throw out the money? Can we keep that? Yep, there we go. All right. I just need to pay out one more time. All right. I just need enough to get everything we have, right? Or at least to get us to the point where I can sell that to that guy, but I'm very suspicious of it. Spaceship? thing. Nebula. Suck methane? That's so rude. Alright. Let's try this. Here we go. Oh, nope. Nope. Mm. 
Well, okay. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's gonna sweep me up. They call him a vacuum, but he doesn't really vacuum. He sweeps things, so... I don't know how effective that is. So I need some for the droid to drive it, because I know I can't pilot anything. And I need money for the actual ship. So... I need at least over, I need over a hundred, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Is this the only way you can make money? Like, this is not effective for me. Alright, here we go. Okay, let him roll. So I don't know if I should bet more or less. Should I bet a bunch, like, everything and see what happens? So sorry, you don't care. I didn't die though, so that's always good. I thought that wins one. Oh, if it doesn't, I don't know. This is why I don't understand slots. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna restore. I'm just gonna start betting it all. Cause I think it'll let me. And if I do that, then I can actually, you know, get done with this sometime tonight. Boom, boom. Oh, well that's fine. I'll do it that way. And I'll just reset up and... Oh, death. Well, I didn't die, but it doesn't matter. I have to reset anyway. I need, an, I need a ship. This game's not teaching me good lessons. Gamble your way. See, you can just always hit your restore point, right? Nope. There we go. I need to check if I can. If the more I drink, the more I hear. Nope. Alright, I want to go. Let me exit out of here. Or not, just let me hit restore then. Okay. Here we go. I wonder what happens if I order more beer. Other than getting extremely sick. Because I'm dehydrated and I'm drinking beer. Sure. What happens when I... You feel a strange tingling sensation. The taste of the beer doesn't seem to be bothering so much now. Hee 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 hee. Alright, what happens now? I bet if you get drunk, what happens is they, uh... Steal all your stuff. Oh my, you start to feel a bit unstable. I'm gonna see what I just wanna see what happens. Do, 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 do. Yep. Ha <laughs> Listen, Mac, I shouldn't serve you anymore. You're sledged. You better go sleep it off or something before you start making a public display of yourself. Give me another one, I you jerk! Here you go. I just want to see what happens. I'm just interested. Ooh! Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh. You wisely, although somewhat belatedly, decide to heed the bartender's advice. Oh boy. That is not a good walk on him, guys. He <laughs> can't! He can't! Look at him! He's so sad! This is why, guys, you don't drink to excess. Look what happens. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Ooh, who's this dude? You stagger into the bar after ignoring the bartender's advice. You're so sledge, you don't even notice that you're about to become prime prey for the many parasitic life forms in your area. You quickly pass out due to your low coronian ale tolerance. And when I wake up, all my stuff is missing. Oh, while your body tries to sleep it off, you lose every possession you own, including your skimmer. Soon your body is stripped for parts. Obviously, you don't make it through the night. <laughs> okay, so that's one way. 
Well, good to know. So basically, I think this is the only way I can make money. I need to make at least, because the guy's willing to buy the scooter for 30. I have to make, the one's like 90, I have to make at least like, a, like uh, I don't know, like 120 to be safe. Okay. Do, do, do. This is such a very long way to make. Here we go. Oh, not the skulls again. Oh, here we go. Mm, you lose, homeboy. I think it's interesting they don't like pick up the money. You think they'd be part of the deal. Here we go. Okay. Yep. Restore. Alright. If we're not going to make any headway there, here, then I might have to do something else. I have a couple more minutes, well, a little bit longer to go before I'm going to end the stream for the night. So I do have stuff going on tomorrow. Let him roll! Let him roll! She's gonna kill me every time. S suck methane. Alright, let's try this one. Mm. Come on, not a sk uh, Always the skull. Yep. You lose, homeboy. Is there any? Hmm. Boom. Wish I could offer the starship guy, because I feel like he would give me a better price. The skimmer. Because I really don't trust that other dude. I'm glad he didn't sell him to begin with, because I really felt like that was kind of low. Oh. Let him roll. Oh, come on. No. I don't want to do that. Bye, zombie man. Nice to see you. Hope to see you next time. All right. I'm doing this one more time, and I'm either... I'm gonna go to see if I can sift some more through the sand, walk around for a second, and I might be closing up for the night too. Dang it! Mm. You lose, homeboy. Don't we all lose? Do Thanks, zombie man. So my man says, uh, yes, Jen, you're right to make money by that way. Lux turn has cost you dearly. All right. Restore. Gosh, this game is punishing me with these mini games. All right, let me go out and see. I just want to see if he offers me more money. Of course, he might try and kill me. This music's gonna be burned in my brain for like forever. Alright. If I go this way. Then I go. Oh, what's he gonna offer me now? Okay, buddy. You drive a hard bargain. This is my final offer, and I'm only making it because I can see you need it pretty bad. 30 bookazoids isn't enough. No way. 30 bookazoids is not enough. I need more money. If he keeps coming back and making me offers. All right, one last try down here, and then I will, I need to close up for the night. Whoa! What has just happened? Wow, this has turned into a very different kind of bar. I know what it is, let me play.
Why didn't I save it here, guys? I don't know why I didn't do that. Alright, here we go. Do something good. Nope. I have terrible luck. I'm also a terrible dice roller, in case anyone's curious. If there's a game that requires me to roll dice as a main function of the game, I am finished. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, gosh, guys. Come on. This truly can't be a number randomizer. And the game just hates me. <laughs> Sounds like a Madonna song. Papa, don't preach. I'm in trouble deep. Okay. Well, guys, I think this is my swan song. Thank you so much for coming out to watch me play. I will be back on Monday night, and we will be continuing this game. I will play this game all the way through. Um, if you get a chance and you've been lurking or you stop by for the first time, please hit the follow button so it will notify you when I go live. And also, if you check out my YouTube channel, the link's on my uh, Twitch profile. Uh, it'll take you to my YouTube channel. I upload all of my streams, but also I edit them down to points in peril, which is basically just all my points and all the times I die. Um, and I usually die a lot, so it's kind of hilarious sometimes. Um, and I will see you guys on Monday night. Thank you so much for making this so much fun. And I've still, I have to say, regret not finishing that mini game. So maybe I'll take one. Well, I won't take one more. Who am I kidding? I don't want to go back through all this again. But I will see you guys on Monday. Thanks for the fun time. Bye.